Hi and welcome to a new Bricks Motion tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to build a nice and easy fade in menu. Uh, we will check how to assign a trigger and then how to animate uh, stuff, in this case the fade in menu. We will have a reverse animation when we click on the burger trigger again and a reverse animation when we click outside of the menu. We will start with the HTML and CSS stuff in Bricks and then we will jump into Bricksforge to get the animation going. Okay, so we are now inside Bricks and I will guide you through this small basic setup. So um, we have a navbar with a trigger, we have some dummy text and uh, the menu itself. Um, if you would like to see how I'm building this stuff, uh, HTML, CSS stuff in, in Bricks, please let me know, write it in the comments. And for future tutorials, I will try to um, yeah, give you a full view on how to uh, set something like this up. But uh, this is nothing special, so I will just run through it. I will have the menu itself, which is positioned absolute to the right. Um, this is just a simple flex container. Um, Maybe the most special thing is that we calculating the height. So to get this um, gap here, I just gave it a top, um, bottom and right margin. And then the height is 100% minus 20 pixels. And on tablet, um, we also calculating the width. So we got this nice edge um, on all sides. Um, so the width is 40% and nothing special here. Then we got the menu itself, which holds all the links. Uh, each link will have a link wrapper and inside the wrapper is the link text. And then we have the divider. This is just a simple divider with 100% width and the height of one pixel. And then we have the legal menu, which is just a flex container holding some text links and the button. Okay, so that's it for the basic uh, structure. And now I will jump into Bricksforge to show you how to set everything up. Okay, so now we are uh, inside Bricksforge and uh, we will set up the animation. So we are under timelines and first we want to add a new folder and we will give it a name of, uh, in my case, day zero one fade in menu and then Inside that folder, we want to add a new timeline. And I will call this T1 open menu. Okay, so first we will set the trigger. In this case, we want a click trigger and the trigger selector will be our hamburger, um, which has a class of D01 menu trigger. And we want to activate with a secondary click which means when we click um, on the trigger again, the animation will reverse. And then we want to activate reverse when clicking outside. Um, this means when I click outside of the trigger, uh, the animation will reverse. Um, and we also have to activate the exclude animation layers because um, right now, if we would click outside of the trigger and this would um, also be the link, for example, the animation would reverse and we don't want that. So we exclude the animation layers and everything that I animate will be excluded. And um, then we got the result we want because when we click outside of the whole menu, the animation will reverse. Okay, then we start by adding our first uh, animation, which will be uh, from two animation. And we want to animate the menu. So this will be the fade in, fade in menu. And we want to animate from auto alpha zero to auto alpha one. And then we can run the animation and this looks fine. Uh, we'll give it a duration of 0 0.5 and an ease of power two in out. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the next animation will target our links. 
and this will be the fi menu item text and again we want a from to animation and in this case we want to translate from 100 percent to zero percent okay yes so the wrapper is set to overflow hidden and um, yeah we animate from 100 percent to zero and we also want to add uh, stagger so every 0.1 second so we have a slight delay for each text link and we give it a total duration of 0.5 and an ease of power in out 2 let's check it perfect okay then we also want to animate <clears throat> we also want to animate um the menu line, so the um, burger trigger lines, because they are black, and when the menu is active, we want to turn it to white. And this is just a two animation. We want to target the class line, menu line, and we will set the background color to white. Um, this can happen with the previous animation duration of 0 0.3 for now yeah and this is fine next animation will be our divider divider and we want to scale it from scale it on the I believe x axis. Yes. Check a sec. Ah, cannot see it right now, so let's do it again. Yes. But this can be a little bit quicker. 0 0.3 power 2 in out. And then we will also animate. Um, everything inside the legal menu so uh, we target the wrapper the menu the legal menu and then animate every element inside that menu which are the text links and uh, in this case we just want a from animation and we will translate it like 20 pixels from the bottom to the top duration 0 0.3 uh, we can add a small stagger, 0 0.1, ease of power to in out. Let's check this in the front end. Looks like this. Okay. We also want to <clears throat> set the opacity here um, from opacity zero. Save it, check it once again. Perfect. Okay, and now uh, we also want to animate the button. And um, we will add a new animation. This is the button. And in this case, we want a from to animation. And we want to animate from translate 300% and blur of 40. And then the blur here will 0 and translate access zero okay let's check once again mm -hmm. working but the timing is off um first off this has to be quicker it says 0 0.3 we also give it an ease of power two in out and we want to start this previous animation mm 
And now it should be a little bit more quick. Yeah, perfect. Great. And when we click outside, this is also working. And one more thing for the timing. I want this one um, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay, now this should be exactly the same. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much for watching this small video tutorial. If you enjoyed it, um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to my newsletter, which is on bricksmotion.co, where I will keep you updated about new stuff, updates, new tutorials, uh, and more. Um, yes, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.